trouble as Niger Delta militants begins operation humble to crumble Nigerian's economy. The Niger Delta Avengers have revealed that plans to crumble and cripple the nation's economy are ready on the way. They reveal that targeted oil installation in the region will be destroyed as they begin their operation. They made the announcement via their website where they stated that the federal government has continued to pay deaf ears to the demands amid the recent challenges in the nation and that they are left with no other option than to cripple the nation's economy. You will recall that former leader of the Niger Delta militant, government Tompolu had given the Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, Senator Godswe Lapabio, a seven days ultimatum in order for him to create a substantive board for the Niger Delta Development Commission or else that there would be dear consequences. The minister had to appease the former militant leader by meeting him face to face, where details of their meeting remains largely unknown as at this time. The Niger Delta Avengers have now stated that this operation shall be coded. Operation Humble aimed at bringing down targeted oil installation in the Niger Delta capable of humbling the economy into a permanent recession. This mission is also targeted at political actors who are collaborating with the Nigerian government to undermine the interest of the Niger Delta people. They vowed to not spare a single oil installation within their reach and that members of their strike team are waiting for a go-ahead order in order to begin the attack. In other news, it is being reported that many members are already set. Um, if these guys, if these guys go on with that decision of blowing off oil pipelines, it's never their fault. In any way, it's never their fault. No one should blame them because they have been patient enough. They have been patient enough. We are the one. It is the Nigerian government that has been unfair to them. How can how can you abandon an oil producing state? Despite the fact that the demand they, 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 they placed is not even much or can be compared to what others are demanding for. They didn't demand for so much. They didn't. A oil producing state look like a complete village complete village this is where you people extract the oil that bring the income that bring development to this country so since it is this very region and states deserve proper maintenance if you travel to Niger Delta now I tell you the way the government made a mess of of the of the of the state to the extent that they hardly drink the water the water that comes out of their out that comes out from the stream because of the the, the the cause of the too much oil that is in that very state so it goes about to pollute the water so since the federal government are the ones making use of this oil to enrich the country they are supposed to be proper maintainers and aside from that since they are the true owner of this of these very uh, of these very uh, uh, resources they deserve proper taking care of but in the other way around we don't even think about them we don't even give them a space or a chance all we think about is ourselves use money realized from the resources you get from the state to enrich yourself.
Why would they decide to take action? Why would they decide to strike? They have to strike. They have to. Because we asked for it. We asked for it. There is no way. There is no way these guys can be patient. They can be patient. And they, can, they can't even wait. Because we have, really, we have really made a mess of them. We have made a mess of them and we have embarrassed them. You understand? We have embarrassed them. You understand? So, the only thing that I will say in this accent is the federal government should hasten up with the agreements. Because we are talking about Niger Delta militants here. These guys, if they strike, they are in their rights. These guys, if they strike, they are in their move. There is no way you take them there is no place you will take them to that they will not be justified. Even the, the UN is aware of all that has transpired between them and Nigeria. And that is why I only laugh. I only laugh Gumi when he, 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 he compared them with the Boko people. What are we owing the Boko people? What is the federal government owing the Boko people for them to be kidnapping and killing innocent people? Huh? For these very ones, it is the federal government that is owing them. The federal government that is owing them, so they deserve to be paid. They deserve to be paid. You understand? So there is no doubt. So for this not to occur and for this not to happen, it is advisable that Buari do the needful. It is advisable that he does the needful. Akbabi knows what is obtainable he knows what these guys are capable of and that is why he took the immediate move to speak with tom polo he knows he knows so i will say in this essence that the federal government should do all within their power to Make sure that these guys are well um, discussed with. Let them meet to a positive end. Because I'm very sure that these guys will not leave a single stone on top. I'm telling you, they will never. So, if they know what is good, let them begin to do it now. Before it's too late. So, my dear viewers, I don't know what your take concerning all that I've just been said, maybe. Do me to leave your comments below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.